Hello, this is Dr. Leo at the lead time. Santilla Exotica has become a popular in skincare products. There are so many brands using the Santilla Exotica, which is also called a Sika because it has the benefits of a, a great moisturizer, soothing skin, and it brings a younger looking. In this video, I'm showing you to make a full Santilla Exotica lotion made from uh, two ingredients. The one is uh, Santilla Exotica infused oil and the Santilla Exotica hydrosol. It only costs you a few dollars to make this a wonderful lotion from this powerful little herb. To make a Santilla lotion, there are two steps. The first step is to prepare the two ingredients. Infused oil costs more time. It take at least four weeks. I use three months to have the best extraction, but you can use after four weeks. And the second one is the hydrosol. And today, actually yesterday, I used a KD5 to make the hydrosol. It's a beautiful cloudy hydrosol, but I use the dry Santilla leaf. If you use a fresh leaf, you may not see that cloudy. Uh, because when you have a dry leaf, you have less moisture and you have a more the material, the plant material loaded in the steamer. And I made a, a, around 600 milliliter. Uh, normally I recommend like a 500 milliliter, but uh, I figure out for this Santilla, it really has a lot of essential compounds. It can be extracted out. Um, so you can check the color and see if you are reaching the finishing point of extraction. After infusion, then we need to strain the oil out and then you can use the oil as a massage oil or other additive in a, like a hair care products. And today I'm using the oil to make a, a Santilla lotion. In order to drain the oil out, you either need a press or cheesecloth. And today I want to introduce you the new tool I invented. It's a, uh, it's a hand use press. It is a dishwasher friendly and you can keep your hands clean. The press has the three parts. This is a collector. It's a two liter volume. It has the marks inside so you can know how much the oil you collected. And this is a filter cup. It plays on top. And the whole size is the same size as a cheesecloth, so you don't worry about the draining um, efficiency. And this is a tapping, so you can just squeeze it or you press it to press the oil out. When you receive it, this part you need a little bit uh, assembling work. You just uh, screw it on just by hand. It's uh, pretty easy. And the same thing here, so you, when you receive it, the ball is separated, but you just, you just screw it on, that's it. So this is a handle and a press. Now I'm going to start to uh, separate the oil from uh, the centella. In the beginning, the oil is easily drained out. Now just pour the herbs in. I collected a 600 milliliter uh, the infused oil.
the herb is uh, pretty dry so there's no uh, uh, flow liquid it just uh, a bit of oil will stick on the herb after the separate the oil from the herb there are tiny debris in the oil if you use as a massage oil or use in the salad or some food you can just use as is but because today we're going to make a lotion we have to do a special step to uh, filter the tiny pieces out we want a clear oil then we're gonna need uh, the coffee filter I did a quick uh, hand wash just use a paper towel to dry it it's um, ready to uh, uh, use again now I transfer the oil into the original uh, bottle the Santilla bottle so actually the oil is pretty uh, clear there are only uh, a little bit of debris uh, in the oil the same I did a hand wash and then it's quick it just dried with the paper and now I'm gonna put uh, the coffee filter on so this cup actually perfect for a regular the coffee pu uh, filter and then I just pour the oil onto the filter you can do a double filter if you worry about the Yeah, that's what I mean. So when you pour too much oil, you, you don't want the oil leak through from the gap between the filter and the cup. Just wait to let it uh, go through. So I only need a uh, 200 milliliter for this batch. Uh, I gotta measure it. So that's the 200 milliliter. Now we start to make a lotion. Uh, so all you need, besides the oil and the hydrosol, uh, you need a water bath uh, to heat it up. And uh, you also need a balance to measure the e-wax and a blender and a hand mixer to mix the oil into the water the hydrosol and the recipe is so you have a 200 milliliter the oil you have 500 milliliter this uh, hydrosol and you need a 35 gram of an e-wax so first uh, we measure 35 gram uh, e-wax Now pour the e-wax into the oil. E-wax is also called an emulsifying wax. So it helps uh, mix the oil with water. And then put in the water bath. The other tool you need is thermometer. You want to measure the temperature. The temperature has to be over 60 degrees C, but you don't want to be very high. When it's reach over 60, it can turn off, turn off the heat. And also measure measure the oil so when the temperature over 60 the e-wax will melt into the oil so now the temperature is pretty good so just uh, stir it and when you stir it the e-wax will uh, all dissolved into the oil you won't see any of the white chunks
Yeah, the temperature is pretty good. It's uh, 65 uh, Celsius. Now is the most exciting part. I uh, gotta mix the oil into the hydrosol to make the lotion. So I have a one hand hold the hand mixer and the other hand gotta pour the oil gradually into the hydrosol. After a good stirring for five minutes, you can just uh, let it sit there, uh, cool down to the about the room temperature before you add uh, the preservative and uh, essential oil. So this is uh, the 20 milliliter. I poured it in and it started. I also use uh, lavender essential oil. You can choose your favorite essential oil. I like it and also I made this uh, from uh, LT3000. Just need uh, about 10 drops. That's good enough. So you added the benefits and also the flavor. Stir it. Try it. Yeah, the skin absorbed very quickly and uh, very smooth. And there is no any like uh, irritation. And the smell is a uh, mild. And very comfortable. While making lotion, the preservative is very important because you have oil and water in it. So you have to have some uh, broadband antibacteria preservative to keep it safe for longer time while you're using it. The second one is always use a clean bottle. Uh, if you reuse bottle, remember use alcohol to uh, soak uh, for a while and uh, make sure it's uh, fully sanitized. Okay, thank you for watching and uh, hopefully you like the video. Subscribe the channel and see you next time.